Hari Om. Welcome to Anirudha's Creative Learners. Today we will learn how to use Vector Ink app. So this is the app you can download from the Play Store. The link is given. Click here to open a new document. This app has many features with which you can create nice illustrations. So there are the options, these are the tools and there are some more tools in this panel. Now let us see one by one. When we open this particular document, it is having a pre-decided size. You can click on these three lines and see the document. You can see here that it is 700 by 400 pixel size and you can click here to fill color in the background. If you click here, you can apply that particular color in the background. So let's see the names first. This is transform tool. This is path tool, paint tool, rectangle tool, moist tool, draw tool, ribbon tool, corner tool, gradient tool, text. Don't touch this particular text. Otherwise you will exit the app. This is the image to import image. Some people want to trace the images which they have drawn on a paper. So to import that image you have to click here. But these two things are not working properly. You will exit the particular artboard. Now let us start learning how to use vector ink app. This is the first tool transform tool. But for using transform tool you have to have something on the artboard. Let's use this rectangle tool and draw one rectangle. We will click here again and we will use one circle also. Okay. Now click on transform tool and click on the objects which you want to select. With this particular tool, you can move the object, you can resize it. There are some other options which are here down. This particular arrow, you can see rotation option. So, you can rotate the object clicking on this or directly adding the degree. Or, you can rotate directly holding this particular this particular icon size you can change the width height separately as well as you can lock here and set increase and decrease all together ok this is the position you can change the position also move the object gradually This is rotation we saw, skew, here you can actually skew, means pull that particular object only in one direction, skew, and visibility, you want to make it more and more transparent, then you can reduce the visibility, like this, one is 100%, now it is 0.1% so you can see the visibility has reduced so this is the transform tool if you want to select more than one objects you have to click on that object and then click on this icon and then select the other object with which you can select and move the move both the objects and the, when you select these two objects, you have got one more option over here. The boolean task with which you can subtract one object from another, unite the object, you can intersect the objects. See, selecting this, we have united both the objects. One more method is to just drag on it. 
so both objects are selected here you can select and subtract one object from other so this object is subtracted from this object and similarly intersect option is there in which the intersected area is only remaining so this is there there are some other features like bringing the object in front or back see you can add color to this object in trans when transform tool is selected here you have to click and you can add color and this is the color of the stroke stroke means the folder of that particular shape so now we have applied this stroke and the fill color if we want to apply color to this particular shape you can apply like this okay now you can see that this shape is behind this shape now we, if we want to bring this shape in front select this go to this particular icon and click here so that shape will come in front if you have too many shapes here and you want this shape to go at the last end then click here it will go behind all the shapes there are some options like flip flip vertically then this is to group okay if you want to group these two objects then you can select this and group this is the group icon so it will be grouped always so it will remain in a group and if you want to ungroup then you have to click here this icon so now it is ungrouped it can be moved separately so this is a transform tool now we can see we have to select this and if we click on this icon this is a path tool we can see the path over here so these are the nodes which we can move like this and change the shape in the path tool in the path tool there are more options here there are more options like closing the path if you have drawn a path using a pen tool you can close that path another important aspect or option is split path if you want to break this path you select this and tap on the path directly so the path will break there so you can cut the path like this so i have cut the path over here you can see so this is a path tool which is very helpful you can delete from here that particular area now one more thing is there in the path tool see because i have cut it this much part has come out and i can delete this if you want to it is a open path if you want to close it select this using transform tool select it again using path tool go here click on the close path now see the path is closed now what we are going to learn is this particular option this disable this split path otherwise your path will get uh, cut by default okay and we don't want to cut the path again and again so you disable this click on this and click on joints so this is most important thing which we can use in the vectoring tool click here and you have got these options if you click here click on a particular node say we will click here and use this so the handles come out and with handles you can draw like this you can pull them you can double tap on this particular handle 
and you can make changes in the path like this so it, it will make it sharp these are few other options with which we can make changes in the shape okay with practice you will be able to understand how these options work now we will see another tool sorry so when we have created a project the project is sent properly by default now click on this edit icon okay by suddenly i got exited from that particular app so you have to save and exit always there is option save and exit so that particular document is saved properly okay. now we learned this path tool now let us see pen tool with select pen tool is selected then you can tap on anywhere on this particular sorry but path tool is still active so i have clicked here and then clicks anywhere in the artboard and now i am selecting the path tool now i have to see like this you can use the pen tool but using pen tool and like this is not helpful at all you cannot draw anything so there is a better way to now let me delete this better way to use pen tool which i have shown in one of my tutorials select the pen tool and there is one more option stylus which is very useful option select this then you just move your finger on the screen to position this particular stylus so now i have now i have positioned it here and then i will tap on the this particular circle so it starts clicking it's not working properly now right now it is working wait i will open another document now let's learn the pen tool select the pen tool click on the stylus you can move your finger on the screen to position the stylus and then tap on the circle to click it click like this then you drag your stylus then again click it like this and at the end you have to click exactly on the starting point so that it becomes a close place closed shape okay now we have created one closed shape using the pen tool now what we are going to do is we are going to make some changes in this particular joints click here click on this icon joints and select this click here and select this so like this we can make changes in this particular shape and our desired shape will be created we can add colors from here pen tool stylus you can draw any shape which are you want so this is easiest method to draw anything in the vectoring like this okay now i will keep select this path and i want to close this path 
from here to here it is open path so what i will do is i will select the path tool select this go here and click close path so that the path is closed properly then i can add color to this path like this okay and you can delete the nodes also using this path tool suppose i want to delete one node which is extra so i will tap on it it turns blue then delete very simple and very efficient way okay so now these are the three tools we have seen this is a shapes tool in shape tool we have got these shapes so this star tool and this is a line tool and this is a polygon tool if you select polygon tool so you have got a pentagon if you want different shapes there are the options in this corner you can increase the size of the sides see now i have made seven so it becomes seven sided shape so now let us see this particular next option small tool for using merge tool you have to first select the shapes select the shapes select the merge tool and select the area which you want to merge together it would doesn't work very properly but with practice it will be a, a, a be very very helpful actually if you learn this click on this icon click on link click on the lines which you want to merge okay i want only this area to be colored separately so i have selected that much area some extra area has come so this is extra area i will click here again on link and then tap on this particular shape so this is got removed one more area is there this particular small area so this area is also removed now i will click on this particular icon and i will try to add color in this so it is color is added but which is added very inappropriately now what i will do is i will click on this undo and my this particular area is separately created so you can see this much area is separately created which can be colored separately so this is how that merge tool works you can change the stroke by clicking this clicking here size and reduce it to one and you can add color like this so merge tool is helpful in selecting and merging certain shapes now let us see so this is little complicated i will teach this particular merge tool in a separate tutorial this is a draw tool you can simply draw different shapes it is very nice tool join nearest close path if you select this close path and draw anything it will close immediately see if i click like this it will close immediately it will not remain as a open path thickness you can change visibility is 100% there is go straight line options if you select straight line then more straight lines are drawn so i have changed the thickness to 2 that's why thick lines are coming up if i make it curve line then more curve curve lines are formed easily that is the difference now let's make it more clean now so this is the draw tool which i have learned we have learned now let us see this next tool this 
is the ribbon tool. You have to put, select a particular object or path and there are certain joints which we can pull to make them thick. So this is how the ribbon tool works. If you want to give thickness more or less in a particular area, you can do like this with this ribbon tool and it creates a separate shape object actually. See, it is a separate shape. This is the ribbon tool. This is a corner tool. It is very helpful tool. Select this corner tool, select the particular joint and then simply drag inside. So it forms a corner or the corner becomes smooth like this. But one drawback is once you once you use it, it will not work again. So this also needs some development. Okay, this is a gradient tool. Select that object. Then select the gradient tool. Go to this fill option. Here there are gradients. You select these gradients. Linear as well as radial gradient. Then click on this. So click on this option to change this darker shape. Click here and select whatever color you want. Then click here this dot and select another color which you want to use. Like this gradient can be created. Very nice tool actually. And these two tools we are not going to learn because they are still in development. As soon as we click on this text and image tool it does not, this software does not work properly. So there are some other tools down here. This is a width tool. Uh, it tells you the stroke, how the edges of the stroke work or the joints will work. So this is the cap, that means a joint, how it will look. This is again a joint. And this is the size which we have seen if we select this and increase the size, the size will increase. And this is the tool which is layers tool. Here you can add layers. Clicking here you can add layers and you can delete layers from here. You can move the layers by holding here like this and you can hide the layer, make it invisible or visible. You can lock the layer. By mistake, you will not draw anything on that layer. If you want to trace something, you can bring the particular object in these layers and move it behind all the layers. Okay. This is topmost layer and if you move like this, it becomes the layer which is behind all the layers. You can bring that particular image in the layers and move it behind. So this is a grid option, visible. So we can visibly see the grid. Thank you for visiting Anirudhan's Creative Learners. In this way, you can use vector in very efficiently. Hari Om Shri Am Ambadnya Nath